Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Tarot Odyssey. How is everybody? Thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support and your beautiful comments and watching my videos. I just wanted to let you guys know too, over on Sparkrist11, over on my IG, I'm running a fun 20K giveaway where you're gonna get a whole pile of jewelry. All you gotta do is come over there, follow me, and comment what your favorite stone is. And you're gonna win a necklace, bracelet, probably a ring and it, maybe a tiara, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, neat new designs that I've done that I'd like to share as well. So come on over there and see what's going on. So you guys, today is going to be about our kind of soulmate journey, what's coming in, what they're like, what we're going to experience, whatever comes up. So just knowing that as we commit to showing up more fully as our authentic selves, we naturally attract those who we are meant to be in connection with. So are you being authentic? Are you really traveling in a direction that gives you high frequency and makes you feel good? And as we learn to be more present with uncomfortable feelings, we also expand our capacity for our connection to pleasure. Because we have to sometimes delve into why do why does this bother me? Why does this person, this place, this experience bother me, right? And then as you open to discovering what self-care also looks like for you, in each passing moment, you're learning how to offer yourself love and kindness in practical ways, which is really important. You know, treat yourself well, know that you're deserving, never accepting of anything less. So my beauties, here are our choices. Number one is going to be get creative. Number two, and that's also the screech owl. Number two, sync with the cycles, black bear. And number three, free your inner fire, the palliated or pileated woodpecker. Love the artworks and the speciary cards are so beautiful. Thank you, Tigra, over there on um, Tigra. I'm going to definitely remember to show this thing, and I'm actually going to get it right now on screen because that's going to drive me crazy because what I did last time was I was like, oh, I'm going to um, put up all his information, and of course then I spaced out. Where is he? Oh, I just love him. So you guys, if you haven't already seen my friend over here, it is Tigre Terra. He's so lovely. He sent me like four decks the other day and they're just really beautiful. So again, he has amazing, amazing videos. Very high vibe. Love his stuff. Love him. So you guys, let's start number one with Screech Owl. What I'm going to begin with. Uh, oh, I also want to get, I'm going to be using the Edgar Allan Poe deck. That was one of the decks that he sent me and it's, oh, the artwork is phenomenal. So I'll do a quick quick flip through at the end too so you guys can enjoy it. very rich and vibrant and I love the back of it oh look at that very po so what I'm going to do first is we are going to see what some of your um synchronistic numbers animals and so on will be so I'm going to pull animals first so we have dragonflies I'll pull three for each we have killer whales and we have a mice and I love this I just love the premise of these two like work together it's so true right it's like it's very necessary let's get some numbers too what I'm going to do is just remove these so things don't get like piled up I want to have things be in a smooth access and not have them avalanche and I want you to also be able to see things so let's see also what's coming up in terms of so let me look in this I want to look at the picture a little bit more too to see if there's anything else yeah I definitely feel a mice orcas whales dragonflies beautiful images of like cattails and things like that and we're going to get some initials also i'm going to pull two cards of these because they have a few initials they have a few letters on them so we have w t d and r s again one could be yours three could be theirs there could be a whole myriad of these things and we're going to see what is going to be taking place in terms of time personality all that kind of stuff as well I just love this deck it's so it's so super super okay again there's the initials um, it's just a magic deck I love it so much so let me breathe for a moment so I can slow down because this is very exciting whenever these messages come in I get excited but I feel too that we need to rediscover what our inner sense of what home means and feels like so we can have our outer self and our expressions transformed so we can feel like we can just discuss things calmly with people. I saw this thing today because I know some people have social anxiety and I thought this is so cool. This girl who works in television was talking about when you're meeting somebody, if you act really familiar with them, it puts them at ease and it really 
makes you seem very charismatic and warm because it's not that awkward of oh hi nice to meet you the you know the weird kind of like stare and handshake and stiffness and then and because your body language when you're operating like that on familiar we are energetic matches for one another so when we act familiar and confident and chill and laid back that energy exudes outward and then we have that beautiful matching energy so we have to remember to provide that for ourselves as well whoa there's your person emperor energy how much do we love that nine of pentacles self-made which we love there's your time frame seven seven months you guys so let's look into this beautiful personality i also want to pull a card for um the sign i feel like there's a lot of water in their chart yeah they have both fire and water in their chart so we'll get to that in a second because i want to really plug into this personality this person enjoys pleasure and comfort in the material world they've got it together with their beautiful energetic match to abundance they understand what it is to be generous with other people themselves and so really cool vibe with that like great tipper really generous you know has a good time with life and doesn't hoard things or keep everything they're very anchored in their physical senses and their inner truth the the emperor really has their act together when it comes to this they know who they are they know how to approach and experience relationships on a really beautiful authentic level so you're not playing any guessing games they communicate really beautifully again they ex they explore life the community the creativity that's within them their connections to spirituality um they like really relying on their intuition as well as logic because they understand you know sometimes we need to diversify in there and get all kinds of you know all kinds of input on why we do the things we do and constantly wanting to grow and expand and learn more about themselves also when we're um as i'm thinking of your person i definitely see a lot of turquoise in their kind of like aura and that's the mark of a person with natural gifts of communication these individuals have a dynamic quality of being highly energized and a beautiful personality that influences others they're powerful healers and they help others discover their inner truths and talents as, as well great organizers they excel in um being self-employed people love bosses with turquoise kind of like energy around them because they explain their goals and influence in, instead of demanding execution, that kind of energy, super creative individuals, a lot of fun and a lot of understanding. So let's, let's look at this too. When we have, when we have both fire and water in their charts, it's a nice combination. It's people that um, they're emotional. They like to communicate. They like self-expression. They like, and living in the moment is key for the, this kind of like water fire balance. Um, philosophers they love to travel and learn new things and truth is very important to them and usually people this kind of combo they're very highly accomplished in life like they know what they want and they know how to get it in a wonderful way when you see this you know nine of cups they also know how to treat people well and there's a kindness and a gentleness to them which also was will prove them getting on with family and friends very well very quickly and meshing in your social circles really beautifully now i feel like you're already getting aligned with this beautiful energy more and more all you have to do is really envision them envision your time together the things that you do how you would like to just operate in a day-to-day -day, you know sitting around a breakfast table having coffee laughing sense of humor important to you feeling comfortable and secure and stable all of that i definitely feel is part of the journey for you so beautiful energy group one i love 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 you thank you so much i i really appreciate you guys so much for you know taking the time to watch my videos and your beautiful comments um really is amazing and again if you need a private read and you want lots of little details that are highly personalized all my information is right on the thumbnail all my contact information and i get your reading back to you within 24 48 hours right away i create a private video just like this with all your circumstances different time lengths if you'd like as well so thank you guys you know for those i always have a lovely steady stream and and you guys have great feedback and i really appreciate it. so that's you so you guys now we're on to two um, number two, which is sync with the cycles, black bear. I love that. So what we're going to start is your initials. So S E and C R. Ooh, that could be a whole myriad of things. I really like that. So I'm going to leave those there and I'm going to shuffle. 
and we're going to see what some of your I keep having a <laughs> what some of your symbolism is going to be so butterflies lots of times when our angels and guides and our significant others are trying to connect to us we simply cannot hear words and phrases con constantly we would think we were going mad so the universe sends us things through animals through numeric I'm trying to think of the right way to put that. Yeah, through like numeric symbolism, 222s, 444s, 666. Um, seeing s similar constellations over and over, certain symbols. Um, I like infinity symbols t can be a real big one for a lot of people. It keeps coming up. It could be um, things all over the world, like Big Ben, things like that, that we just keep seeing over and over because that can be a geographic kind of pinpoint, right? So we have horses and compasses is another thing, as well as owls. Oh, I love that. So those are going to be some of your animals and symbols. Also the heart symbol and not just regular heart, but like the organ of the heart. It's like, I feel like when you're on your feeds and different things that will come up and it'll seem really substantial and interesting now also speaking of colors i keep seeing this beautiful um orange kind of orange and red glow and you know red is the color of the root chakra which relates to our connection with nature so i feel like your individual really really connects to nature beautifully they enjoy manifesting all their desires and have them take place in the material world super passionate and unapologetic about experience dynamic and abundant adventures they like to go d to see think feel on epic scales you know adrenaline inducing activity type of things you know they're i feel like your person is unafraid of of death birth overindulgent sensuality any of those things they're they're into it you know i feel like with the orange that comes into they have a beautiful exchange of energy with other people joyful exchanges time money resources energy work love all of that whether it's relating to it it's like they they're really generous and they really like to share and they have this ability to make other people feel cherished loved and special as well which is important because you know sometimes um people get so busy and they're just go and do in their life and they sometimes forget to express these these moments and these things for people that show hey i'm really glad you're in my life you're you're a pretty fantastic person you know sometimes we have to remember to do that for one another oh there's your six of cups lovely balance and i also feel too i was already <laughs> seeing that water in the charts too okay so when we have wands here that i definitely feel is representative of a lot of fire energy in their chart great leadership capacities you know energy strength motivation passion often you know super charismatic in groups is able to get on with all kinds of people because they're thoughtful while still being confident and motivated to encourage other people i feel like that's a big part of their life and they are very they are very encouraging and loving and like in an organic nice way not like a hyped up not if i say this for you you say this for me but absolutely a hundred percent looking out for other people and wanting them to do well and again that has to do with their beautiful connection to spirituality their wisdom their trusting in the process of learning and growing from experience in a big way and when we have this this is wonderful because this is where everything just flows beautifully smoothly you know from the moment that they step into your life that there's clarification through communication on everything so you never have those like the those curious moments of oh my god they haven't messaged in this amount of time what's going wrong and that that weird when the ego comes in and pounces and makes you think ah everything's too much too little too hot too cold and you just slow everything down and recognize when people feel like communicating they do so there's no pressure so because of that it's just a beautiful flow and also you guys have such great compatibility that not a day goes by after your initial meeting where they don't want to connect they they don't don't want to connect with you you know so they always are messaging you you guys are always having great conversations and getting together and there's a beautiful natural progression in the relationship where everything isn't just too instantaneous but nor is there like any game plan going on whatsoever which i love that beautiful balance and i feel like that is also your time period to you guys six months when anything is six months or below two i love it because it means that our frequency is going way up and that's what the universe wants for us to be at our highest frequency when we're together so again we have the vitality the passion we're encouraged you know we're able 
to express and it's like you're going to feel a lot more romantic like valentine's day is just going to slay you this year you're going to be like ah i would love this and oh like just romance and rom-coms and all of those things because you're in the energy and the alignment of love which i adore because it is a fun place to be and you're going to start to recognize your synchronicities and as well as i feel like some of your numbers again five five fives two two twos and another thing is like i keep seeing like like a single polar bear on a, i don't know why a single polar bear on like an ice cap or something that's part of it as well i just love this this is the universe just gesturing to you it's your time feel good formulate a plan oh my gosh i had to stop for a moment i had a sneeze a fest which is always a lot of fun so you guys, that is you beautiful energy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. If you need a private read or anything else, all my information is on the front of this thumbnail. You can reach me through um, IG and also my email. And thank you guys for all your great feedback and messages and DMs. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love that. And I also feel like too, if you're, um, if you're connected to the animals on the cards too those are going to be part of your totem animals that help you along with your journey as well so you guys now we're on to number three and we're going to get some initials of your person so we have rf and sp and i'm going to pull one more because everybody um had i think i used three cards for some of them or some of them had three initials on them so i like to have a little extra so we have s t r f s n p so loving that. Now let's see what some of your um, symbology is going to be. We're going to go into the oceanic. So you guys are going to have like oysters and sea critters. I f definitely feel like seahorses, mermaids, things of that capacity, like sea witch energy, spiders, cats and cougars, and swans. Loving that. I feel like your person right away with, with the kind of these cards um, I'm already shuffling. I'm already seeing your person because I'm seeing colors around them. The silvery gray. They're very mysterious. They're very charismatic and charming. And there's something kind of like glamorous. And yeah, you see, there's something magical and glamorous about them. But this is also talking about your propensity for manifesting exactly what you want right now in all kinds of realms, you know, albeit love and um, abundance whatever you need jobs opportunities people to say yes your influence right now to manifest your life and get things aligned really beautifully is amazing also because when you get the magician card when it comes to meeting your soulmate it can actually mean any day now but very very soon usually always within like a three month time period but it can be any moment because you have the capacity to just manifest you're ready and you're connected and you're aligned and alignment is everything divine timing works with our alignment and wants everything to kind of have its matching you know juice to it paying attention and it's something that's very very important that quite a few people just kind of bypass is to remember gratitude for your life who you are it instills this kind of balance and trust and patience a inside of us right and so you're going to start to feel this really romantic edge to things like oh i feel like you know Things are kind of really mystical and edgy. Look at this. See, that's also, that's reiterating your time. This You have so much divine guidance helping you right now that again, that one is like, phew. so things are going to be extraordinarily impactful when you see them, you know, like a wild raging river. You're just going to see sign upon sign upon sign and be like, oh my gosh, this ridiculous license plates. Maybe seeing the same song over and over and over the same movie reel over and over a certain um actor's face over and over and over you're gonna have a lot of repetition now where it's almost like what in, what is going on where you just feel flabbergasted at how how things keep repeating for you as well which i love you know these are really the only two cards we need for this in terms of like where things are going because i feel like bright flashes of inspiration are going to come for you i do want to pull one more on um yeah you see this three this is also uh, this is indicating i feel like they are the eldest of three but also when you get the swords i feel like you have a lot of air they have a lot of air in their chart again very dreamy and creative this also has to do with them really really cherishing and taking care of love because i feel like they got their heart beat up in a past relationship maybe a few years ago where somebody all of a sudden it came to be that they were simply someone that they were not acting like they were 
Um, it could be somebody that were using them for their resources and material goods and all of a sudden when um, some things came to light, a conversation, some things were overheard that they were just absolutely gobsmacked and they felt like they were strung along. So, you know, their heart is now mended and now they're realigned with this. That's for a few of them. And also, I just feel like there's a lot of air in their chart. I'm also going to pull another one and see what else is going on in terms of that. Yeah, and we have some water in, in there too. Beautiful, dreamy, emotional person that, you know, they like to um, communicate beautifully what's going on. Um, someone who is super encouraging and helps you with your self-worth and I feel like they have these wonderful teaching abilities to show people how to do things in a simple refined and fun way it could be anything from using computers learning languages all of that I feel like they're just very smooth and calm and peaceful and when you're in their presence right away you know this is no second guessing whatsoever with this magician card too when you run into them you're not like well maybe you're like absolutely 100 percent. this is my person but they also feel it so it's like that magnet that heavy magnetism holds and holds the course of the relationship steady. So there's no second guessing. There's no undermining yourself. There's no kind of game playing. Everything is organic, natural, and a beautiful flow state. So you just know you treat each other extraordinarily well, completely honest. You will always want what's best for one another. And the caring and the grounded, earthy nature of everything helps you be generous and pragmatic about things like Listen, sometimes I get insecure about conversations and I like to, I like for somebody to say goodnight to me every night and just kind of know where they are and like you say things honestly and I feel like they love that and they, they love everything about you unconditionally. This person is just loves you unconditionally and you feel it from the get go and because of that you feel the beautiful magic, you feel the thoughtfulness, you feel the encouragement, you feel... Also, your person right here, high, high intelligence, I feel like ridiculous, like can pick up things like nobody's business. They've been very independent in their life and had to learn to be adaptable and, and versatile in what they do. And you're really proud of that. You're like, wow, this person has their act together. They handle themselves beautifully in crowds, whoever they're talking to. They're never dismissive. They're never superior. They're just wonderful. You know, they love people generous. I also feel like there's probably Libra in their chart somewhere too because I just keep seeing the scales and beautiful balanced nature as well. So that's you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my information for private reads on the front of the thumbnail. You can email me or DM me on IG. Thank you guys so much for everything. And over on IG too, I'm running a fun 20K hooray giveaway with jewelry over on IG. So come check that out. All you have to do is just um, comment on your favorite stone. So love and light.